In this tutorial, I will show you how you can use switch case statement in PHP. Switch case statement is uh, one of the alternative of if else if statement uh, where you can define multiple uh, conditional statement and uh, the output depends on the condition that returns true. This is the syntax of uh, switch case statement. Here, uh, the variable in, uh, the value of the variable in will be checked with the case value and where the case value matches, the statement of that block will be executed. And uh, break statement is necessary to use after each uh, case block because if you uh, omit this statement, then all the case value will be checked. And this is the uh, default part of Swiss case statement that execute if all of the case statement returns false and then statements of the default block will be executed. It works like the else block of if else if else statement. Uh, the code is tested in PSP uh, version 8, so you have to install it and uh, Apache 2 web server to test the code. Our first example is to simple use of switch case statement. Here I will uh, create a PHP file uh, with this script and uh, next I will explain the code. Here uh, you can see the book name contains a string and uh, another variable found which is uh, true by default. And here the value of the book name is uh, checked in the switch blocks and uh, where the value matches with the value of dollar book underscore name value the block of this case will be executed. Here the value is php and my school now is to ninja that match with the second case block and uh, it will assign the author value and publisher value and break a statement will quit from the switch case block. And uh, after quitting the uh, switch block, if the found value is true, then this message will be printed. But uh, if the value doesn't match with any of the case block, then the uh, default block, uh, then the statement of the default block will be executed, and that is uh, false for the dollar found variable. And then uh, this statement will be executed. The book information not found. I will save the code and execute the code from the browser. Here you can say book and author value of the second case blocks is printed here. Tom Butler and Calvin Weck that is shown here. Now I will check the second example of this tutorial. Use of multiple case statement together. That means uh, uh, the, this case block will be executed for any of these three values. So I will copy the code to create the script file. Uh, you have to add the PHP tag here to execute the code which is missing in the tutorial. 
the value of id will be uh, provided in the <coughs> url query parameter and uh, uh, if any value provided then id will contain the value and next uh, the id value will be checked in the swiss block if the id value match any of this case block then the text value will be uh, is the id of the csc department otherwise it will check this case statement and if it doesn't match with it then it will check this one which is empty block and next it will check with this if match with this case block then the value is is the id of the bba student and if none of the case block matches then the text value will be no matching information found and at the end of the script the value of the id and dollar text will be printed okay now i will execute the script I uh, didn't provide any value in the URL, so no matching information found. Uh, this text is printed from here. Okay, now I will provide a valid value. Suppose this one. Now you can see the output uh, 07895 is the ID of a CAC student that matches with it. And if I uh, copy uh, uh, provide this ID, the same output will appear. This is the ID of CAC student. Now I will uh, check another example, this one which is the BBA student, ID of BBA student. So, you can see the output came from this block. Okay, now I will test the next example. Example 3, use of logical or operator in switch case step. In the same way, the value of name will be provided in the URL query parameter and next uh, uh, the value will be converted to a uppercase letter and stored in the dollar name variable. Otherwise, dollar name variable will be empty. No variable assigned in the switch block here and by default true is assigned here. And logical or operator is used in the second case block uh, where if the value match with Rhea or Reshma or Mahabub, then uh, this statement will be executed. And all the two case blocks uh, use a single uh, comparison. So uh, in this way, you can uh, compare uh, values in case statement uh, with logical or logical and or logical not operator or any logical operator like XOP. Okay, now I will test the script. Here no value is given. Suppose I have provided name value as sorry equal to Rhea. Rhea is the team member. If we check the script Ria is here. Here, if you type Ria or Reshma or Mabu, same output will appear, just name will be changed. Ria is a team member. If I type Karim, then it will uh, print Karim is the organizer. I will test this one. Karim is the organizer. In this way, you can uh, use a logical operator in your switch case statement of PHP script. And uh, example four is to use the array in switch case statement. Now I will check the code. 
here three array variables are declared array one that contains integer numbers second array contains floating point numbers third array contains string and uh, uh, var var will contain and var is a url query parameter uh, that will be passed by the url address and uh, the value of the var is stored in dollar val and uh, this register statement is also defined by using true and uh, array uh, in array function is used in each case block first case block will search the value in the first array second uh, case block will search the value in the array 2 and the third case block will search the value in array 3 if the value uh, is found in array 1 then next two blocks will not be executed and if it is found in second one then third case will not execute it and uh, if none of the array the value exists then the default part of the uh, script will be executed now i will check the code I didn't provide any value for var, so the value does not exist in any in any array, and this message is passed from here. Okay, now I will give a valid integer value, suppose fifty six. Fifty six is uh, exists in the first array. So this one appear from here. Okay, now I will provide any floating number six point three. Six point three exists in the second array, and uh, now I will provide pin. Pin exists in the third array. In this way, you can uh, you use array variable in the case uh, in the case part of the switch case statement. And uh, I think this is the last example of the script. So here, uh, many types of switch case statement I have explained with example to know the tax of uh, switch case statement or how you can use it uh, in replacement of if else if statement thank you for watching